Hello everyone and welcome back to another die cast review. Today we have a very fitting uh, die cast to kind of show off here. Speaking of, well, the day this was recorded, the Coke 600 happened yesterday. So, very disappointing weekend just because of weather. Uh, Kyle Larson didn't even get to run the double. He barely even got to run the uh, Indy 500. And I still have not uh, reviewed this Ben Rhodes diecast, so I figured it'd be a very good time to do so. Kind of lighten up the uh, the weekend with, um, you know, some diecast reviews, I guess. So this one's actually going to be uploaded a little little later on. But either way, this is the Coke 600 uh, truck edition, basically, because they don't do the Coke 600. This is the Charlotte race win. It's still the patriotic weekend. Uh, we actually got confetti on the truck, which is pretty interesting. I really, really, really like the orange on this car, so we're going to pop this die cast out of the box and take a closer look. Here's the die cast out of the box. There's a, a very, very pretty and a nice and bright orange. This thing is so much brighter in person. The, the camera makes it look a little more uh, dark, but I'm telling you, man, this is a very, very bright and uh, day glow like orange. So definitely the camera does not do justice here, uh, but in person, this car is beautiful. So. Or, I guess, truck is beautiful. So, campers and RV right there. Got some confetti kind of scattered across the car or the truck. I, I'm going to sound like OBB doing this. Uh, I got the Ford logo there. Of course, you got some, again, race wear. Confetti all over the windshield. Looks like some sprinkles because they're all multicolored. Craftsman, patriotic banner there. Got the number 99 with some, um, again, sprinkles on the front there on the on the roof. Ben Rhodes. Of course, you got a little truck tail light back here. And you got a uh, deck lid with no sponsorship, which is weird, but, but covered in confetti nonetheless. It's not caked in confetti, but uh, it's, it's still got a decent amount on there. Got the uh, Campers in RV on the back end here. Of course, you got the uh, spoiler Ford license plate, 99. Got the taillights here. Uh, Tenda. You got Campers in RV once again. Got a little bit of race wear around the wheel wells. Um, of course, you got the Patriotic tires. Some contingencies, contingencies down there. A little bit of race wear, pop rivets, uh, a little bit more confetti over here. Got the B post, built for tough. Can't tell what that one is, an APAV there. Ben Rhodes, you can see on the contingency panel, we got NASCAR, a uh, truck series, Mobile One, Comedic, Arrowhead Brass, Tilton, Cooks, Holly Fi, NASCAR Salute, 75th Anniversary, SKF, Jessel, or Jessel, Jessel, Calico, right? So I got something down there and another little thing down there. I <laughs> got the Goodyear logo on the hood. That's always great. ARP, Sunoco, 99. Of course, you got the front end logo there. Or not logo, but the front end there. It's a little, a little crooked. I feel a little loozy. I'm not going to lie. It looks a little weird. Um, da -da -da -da. It looks like, oh my gosh, it looks like you have raced wear on the tire. We don't because it's just printed weird. But man, it almost looks accurate. That's kind of neat. Uh, even though it's a mistake, but still a little bit of race wear down here. Of course, you get the bioethanol ring. Um, pop rivets down here once again. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, but yeah, still a cool little race car or race truck, I guess. Uh, you get a, um, uh, no, I, don't, I keep wanting to say Coke 600. You get a Charlotte race wind truck. Oh, God. <laughs> I hit that camera. Charlotte race wind truck with confetti. Salute banners, tires. And race wear, which is, you know, really good. Uh, pretty cool truck. And it's Ben Rhodes, you know. Ben Rhodes is, uh, I, I feel like he's, you know, all right in the in the truck series. Uh, he's not, like, my favorite or anything. Not a whole lot of negatives to this uh, die cast here. So if you get the chance, I would definitely pick it up if you have not already. Uh, very cool car. Or truck. I keep saying car. I'm so used to saying cars. I don't, I don't do trucks very often. But this one's going to look uh, great on the race wind shelf. But with that being said... I do believe that will be all for this diecast review. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.